G'day, my name's Mary. I'm a research entomologist with the Department of Primary Industries in the Northern Territory. And we're visiting one of the local mango orchards today to sample for leafhoppers, um, Idioscopus leafhoppers in these trees. They're a sucking bug, a pest of um, the fruit production in mangoes. And so we're here today counting the numbers of leafhoppers in the orchard. And the mango trees are flowering at the moment, so we're getting really large numbers and they're crawling all over our arms and things like that. Okay, one of the best ways to uh, sample for leafhoppers in mango orchards is to use a sweep net. Um, this is because the leafhoppers are often quite high up in the canopy, but also because they're very difficult to see. So if you can disturb them off the branches of the tree and then catch them in the net, then you can take those samples back to the lab and count them and identify the species. As I said, when you use the sweep net, you disturb the leafhoppers on the tree. So for the purpose of this sampling, we sweep forwards and then backwards. And that counts as one sweep. To sample a whole tree, we do 10 sweeps around the tree. In the first movement of the sweep, you want to bump the branches of the tree or the flowers gently, the area that you're sweeping, so that the leaf hoppers are disturbed. And in the second movement, you come across higher to catch the leaf hoppers that have been disturbed. I'll now demonstrate how to sweep around a tree. So as I said, this is one sweep and we want to do 10 sweeps around the tree. It's not always graceful work, but you'll notice that between sweeps I kept the net moving. That's because the leaf hoppers are really active and they'll jump out of the net. So you don't have to do all the sweeps really quickly one after the other. Choose the place that you're going to do the sweep and just keep the net moving in between those actions. Lani's now going to help me get the insects out of the insect net and into a bag so we can take them back to the lab for analysis. Take the net, hold it tightly and push it into the plastic bag. You want this to be a plastic bag that seals well. We're using a Ziploc plastic bag. And as you shake the net out, the other person seals the bag to stop the insects escaping. Check the surfaces of the net before you pull it out of the bag to make sure that you've got all the insects off it. Then seal the bag, label it with the site and the date and take it back to the lab for counting and identification. Now this orchard has a particularly heavy infestation. So this is the largest number of leaf hoppers we've actually swept in any orchard so far. You can see there's a couple of other insects in there including some beneficials but that large collection of brownish insects is all the local leafhopper species. Mm -hmm. 